Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. You can reach me at Erica S. Williams on Twitter. Listen guys, immigrants are coming here and they are killing it. I've just read articles from expatnation.com. Again, that's expatnation.com. Um, and literally the thousands upon thousands of immigrants that get here, first thing they do is open a business because they're not like a American saying, give me $15 an hour, give me a job, give me free school, I'm sorry. You are in the land of opportunity. You have Google and YouTube at your resources. If you know an engineer or a coding or software person makes 130000 a year, first thing you need to be doing is get online and figure out how can I get that job. What do I need to do to get that job? There's a great article about a young lady who, that's his, what she did is she went to her hometown. She couldn't find work. So she went back to her hometown, helped her dad's business, put her dad's, uh, Gave her dad an online website, gave put him in the local listings, got him a Yelp page, the whole nine yards. And then turned around and offered that same deal, which she done for her father for free and showed the results of her skills and offered it to every single company in her hometown. You know, just started, you know, rolling in. And she ended up making $130,000 or so from just helping the people in her small town create a website, get on Yelp, get in directories. That simple, people. It's that simple it just is use your skills make that money now if you're a young student you're like well erica she just made thirty thousand one year she had to keep opening asking more businesses for for business to give her business and i'm like that's true that's true she would have to keep doing that year after year after year but but she's already proven her track record so now she can go work for someone like google now she can work for someone like yahoo she can work for the big names because she's proven it on her own and they like self-starters so you know, she wants to get that guaranteed clock in check. She can do that, which eventually she did. Um, she did move on to Boston and, you know, away from her father's business and all that good stuff and actually got um, a, a job. But at the end of the day, if it was me, on the other hand, I would have took that 30000 and invested in some real estate and been like vacation for a year or something. But each his own. Point of the story is you have skills and talent. And if you don't have skills and talent, you have YouTube. You're on YouTube now. Go on YouTube. Go on Google. Find ways to gather those skills you need to make the money you want to make. It's your it's your choice is yours. You can be on YouTube and Facebook Googling fights and stupid crap all day long and challenges where you burn yourself. Not pointing any fingers, but certain groups of people. Um, but Or you could be using that time to spend out how to make money. And it's all about mindset. And it is important who your mother and your father is. Because the more I look at it, a lot of mothers and fathers aren't encouraging their kids to go read a book. You get my drift, they're encouraging them to go get a job. They're not encouraging them to start a business. They're telling them to go work for somebody else and look for a handout. Sorry, that's what your parents are doing when they don't tell you to be creative and fuse your skills. So, again, this is Erica on the Classy Climb blog. If I'm wrong, totally comment below. Let me know. Let me know if I'm accurate, inaccurate in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends. You guys have a great day.